Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw. I'm here with Pam Hoffe, who is Managing Director of Avalon Waterways, and we're here on the Avalon Impression, and we're going to talk a little bit about Avalon and what's to come, and this is Insider Travel Report. Now, Pam, uh, it's wonderful to be on board here with you on uh, Avalon Impression. It's one of your newer ships. Uh, how, how, it came, what, 20, 2014, I think? Or? 2014. So it's about um, middle age, let's say, of our fleet of ships in terms of age range. Um, the Panorama class ship was first built in 2011, mm -hmm. and we've been building them rather steadily through um, since then. So this is a, a teenager in our fleet, let's, let's call it's it still, that. It looks brand new, absolutely. It, it does, and I've heard that from a lot of people, and that's one of the things that we're really proud of, is how fresh we keep our fleet. And you know, we want it to be that somebody can come on a brand new ship, and it looks identical to one that's a couple years old. So I'm glad you're feeling that. Yeah, and actually, uh, you have a new position at Avalon, and uh, uh, you're not, but you're not new to Avalon, right? No, I'm not. Um, I have been with the Globus family brands for 15 years, um, previously as vice president of product and operations. So I was mostly involved in kind of our non-Europe product, mm -hmm. doing all of the um, product planning and operations for that. And so uh, you're, you're the person to, to credit for all this, right? Oh, uh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big team behind it, right. and um, you know, a team I'm really proud of, and I've had a great time working with over these years. And so I was involved in building our ships in Asia in the past. So when we uh, launched the Avalon uh Angkor, the Saigon, and the Myanmar, I was involved in that project. Well, prior congratulations. I love that ship. That's one of the ships I have been on for you in the Myanmar. It's a wonderful cruise. Thank you so much. Um, it is one of my favorites as well. So I, we were thrilled to have you there, and I'm so glad you're here finally experiencing Avalon in Europe as well. Well, let's talk about your new ship. How many ships do you have in Europe now? We have 16 in Europe, and um, we have two in Southeast Asia, and we're adding a new ship on the Mekong. The Avalon Saigon will be launching in September. So we'll have two ships actually on the Mekong. And then uh, we're looking ahead already to 2019, and you will have a new ship here too, uh, the Avalon Envision, I believe. Yeah. That's right. We're building the Avalon Envision. It'll be a new sweet ship to our fleet, uh, 135 meter. She'll be sailing mostly on the Danube in 2019, launching in April. Any differences from that ship from the, the previous one? You know, there really won't be big differences that our guests will see because this um, style of ship, the sweet ship, is is something that's so popular. We just decided to continue with. With it. The panorama suite with the 11 foot wide um, floor to ceiling wall to wall window that opens seven feet and kind of turns your entire stateroom into an open air balcony is a concept that's really resonated with our guests. And, um, you know, the best part about it is it allows you to have that open, fresh feeling without losing any interior space. So we decided to stick with that design. Um, it will be uh, really phenomenal in 2019 because all of our ships will be sweet ships. So we're really thrilled about that. So, so you guys you're going to got to rid some of the older ships and you're all going to be all sweet. Right? That's right. So um, we are we are letting go of a few of our deluxe class ships as we call them and um, you know that's they're still fantastic ships and we're sad to see them go but to have an entire sweet fleet is really exciting. Yeah and very much of a standardized and I, obviously this has become a very popular design. I remember when uh, uh, you know, when I first saw it and I said, boy, that's that's revolutionary and now here we are many years later. Yes, and um, you know, the bed facing the view was the real revolution, I think, of that design and it has really resonated and the view has been our story for a really long time and um, you know, now we're adding so much more to that story and the possibilities beyond the view are really huge. So we're excited going into 2019. Well, beyond design, you've also instituted a, a new, a couple of new programs and I want to talk a little bit about this new new program, Avalon Choice. Uh, what exactly is that and how does it work? Sure, so that was a great segue into what's new for 2019. Um, Avalon Choice is our new um, excursion choice. So we've classified all of our excursions. We've added a lot of new excursions that are included on our classic cruises. So, um, you know, our, our kind of core regular cruises, let's, let's call them. Um, and so we have three different styles. We have classic excursions. So those would be kind of your classic sightseeing with an expert local guide seeing the see sites of our destinations. We also have discovery excursions which really allow our guests to dig deep into a destination. So some examples would be in Amsterdam you're going out to the Westerdock area where Van Gogh painted his only paintings that he did in the city of Amsterdam mm -hmm. and you take a class to learn how to paint 
in the style of Van oh, Gogh. Oh, I would just, I'd just fit right in. I could do my, you and I, we could both do Van Gogh paintings, isn't that right? You know, you'd be shocked. Um, we had a lot of people, we, we did this last year, with, I did this last year with a group, and some people were a little bit skeptical, and everyone loved it. And our paintings turned out not that bad. I can't say mine's hanging on my wall, <laughs> but, but it wasn't that bad. Um, so that's one example. Other things are cooking classes in Lyon, you know, the capital of uh, France's culinary scene, a cooking class there. So all sorts of different things. Um, and then active is the last style. So yeah, that's I wanted to talk to you about that because obviously we've heard a lot in, in river cruising about a lot, lot more active uh, uh, excursions. With Biking is obviously a big one, but you, you've actually instituted a whole program around this, right? That's right. So um, we have bikes on board. That's standard. We have 16 bikes on every ship. Um, and But it goes beyond that for us. So um, the active as part of the Avalon choice is are the excursions, but we've taken it even deeper with our active discovery cruises, which we launched in 2017 mm -hmm. on the Danube. We're expanding in 2018 with an active discovery on the Rhine. And in 2019, we're even going further with an active discovery on the Rhone and those cruises really focus on the two different um, excursions types of active and discovery so mm. it's actually um, both words so they are active but they also have that discovery element and the the itineraries themselves have been really specially designed in order to give more time in port they sail a little bit shorter of a length of the river to right. allow for that so that um, we have the time to do these excursions and really dig deep into every destination yeah now uh, has that active uh, element uh, decreased your, uh, your age, uh, your demographic for the river cruising? So we have uh, operated just one year of active discovery in 2017 on the Danube, and the average age for that di uh, was about five years less than our classic mm -hmm. itinerary. So yeah, we are seeing it um, decrease a bit. Um, for us, you know, really age isn't a number. It's really about how you feel, and we had a lot of our guests um, looking for these kind of things, and that's why we developed these programs and um, why we wanted to add more active elements to all of our itineraries because we tested them here and there throughout Europe, and we saw people really enjoying them and wanting to, to do more of that on their vacations. And we really are about letting our guests um, do their vacation their way. Yeah, well, I know, I know, as an, uh, I've done active things on river cruises, and there's some, sometimes when uh, I'm saying, maybe I should have gone the wine tasting instead <laughs> of the hike up to the top of Dernstein or something like that. Well, <laughs> and, you know, th it's interesting that you said that, because one of the things that we're adding in 2019 is an adventure host to help pe help guide people. Right, that on was the other program I wanted to ask you about, because you just announced this, right? We did, um, in our 2019 brochure, which... I have here to uh, show people if they have not received it, it should be coming relatively soon. We announced the adventure host and the adventure host is really going to be an expert on those hikes so that you don't get yourself on a hike that maybe you wish you'd gone wine tasting instead. Uh -huh. They really are going to be able to tell you um, which ones might fit your, you know, your level of activity, what you want to do. They'll be here to help with um, the bikes, help with jogging maps, hiking maps. Um, if you want to take a, a picnic with you instead of coming back to the ship for lunch, they can help arrange that and we've also added and are adding an adventure center mm -hmm. which will have all the gear that people need for for these type of activities so on top of the bikes that we have we have Nordic walking sticks mm -hmm. we're adding binoculars picnic blankets um, backpacks people can check out all sorts mm -hmm. of great things just to help help um, with with time on your own in port. Well, next you're going to be like mountaineering next, right? <laughs> <laughs> <That's probably laughs> I, I don't know that we'll have that, but if people <laughs> ask for it, we might. We might. <laughs> That's true. Now, I wanted to talk to you last about um, uh, some of the highlights for coming up for 2018 and 2019, some of the itineraries that you really uh, are, are trying to really focus on. So in 2018, Active Discovery on the Rhine is, is probably our most exciting new itinerary that we have. Um, and then having our second ship on, uh, the, on the Mekong, the Avalon Saigon, is, is really exciting. You know, 2018 is, is really filling up, and, uh, and we're, we're moving on to 2019 at this point. We still have some space left in 18, but in 2019, we have a lot that's new. So the Active Discovery on the Rhone is, um, is uh, the new itinerary that I'd like to highlight. It's going from Arles to Lyon. Mm -hmm. um, so a little bit shorter than our classic itinerary on the Rhone, and that's for the reason that I mentioned. So we have okay. more time in port, more evenings in port even, um, and, and more time to dig deep into these destinations. The other new destination for us is India. And that's fascinating because th there are not too many uh, river cruise lines. I only know of a few that go there right now. Yes, yeah, so we have taken um, departures on the Ganges Voyager, um, and we're doing seven departures. So it's a relatively small collection of itineraries, but we've, we've done our 
our own itinerary. We've worked with the cruise line um, that we've partnered with there to uh, create our own itinerary. So it is an Avalon exclusive departure mm-hmm. with um, our own itinerary that really is different and unique. And that's what's that's what I think is special about Avalon is that we are just a little bit different. So um, instead of just going to temples, there are a lot of experiences with locals where you go and and meet a sari weaver, for example, all sorts of really local encounters. Yeah, well, that sounds fascinating. And I know having done the Myanmar, one of the first one Myanmar cruises with you, it was an absolutely incredible experience. And I'm sure India will be equally that way. Yes, the same person who designed the program you went on has designed India. So um, thanks for the great endorsement, because you're right. <laughs> Pam, thank you very much for filling us in on all that's going on with Avalon. It's a lot. It's been great to be here on Avalon Impression and and really get a sense of your European product. Uh, Congratulations on all the other new programs that you have coming up. Thank you so much, and we are thrilled to have you on board. Thank you. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.